we will see whether your spouse is truly your spouse or a stranger spouse. <laughs> I'm really, really excited about couples retreat. <laughs> It'd be nice as one see the other couples and just see like how have y'all been? Are y'all really still gonna stay together? Hen dog. What's up, y'all? People call you hen dog? No. How's your experience? We are far more familiar and comfortable with our partners. A married at first sight history. Seriously. Are you Christina? Has there been anything else that you've realized? I feel like I still don't know Henry completely. Like, do you feel like y'all weren't like being honest with each other? Not all the time. What about you? What you got to share with us about yourself? Christina, you answer that question. No, I asked you what kind of growth you had. Um, uh, you know, recently I've seen a lot of dishonesty. Every red flag I've seen early on, it is just kind of like the climax of, of all of it. We're all kind of living in a pressure cooker. It's just always like one thing after another. Like, elements of a relationship will kind of like be accentuated. It kind of like built up for him. It didn't come to a full head. I've reached my breaking point. Because I wish she was here. Like, I'll want Olivia here. Decision day is coming up. Dear little Christina, this may be shocking to you, but you made it to 30 years old, alive and well. Tension that exists between two people in this moment can feel so consuming. Mm -hmm. Watch out for things and people that you choose to invest your time in. You hope to be one of those successful couples, but that hasn't really gone according to plan. It's OK to speak up when you feel like something isn't right you know, and feel like consume a world, you know, because of our whole lives, yeah. Because nine times out of 10, if it doesn't feel right, it isn't right. Dear younger me, um, your judgment is on point. Until next time, Henry 2020.